Chicago is sponsored by United Healthcare. United Healthcare prides itself on its expert support to help guide you on your health journey. Taking care of your health starts at home. That's why we asked Dr. Mita Shah how screen time can impact our eyes and what we can do to protect them. At this point, um, Americans are spending about seven or more hours a day on their screens, right? Whether that it's is crazy, it yeah. is seven crazy. Eight hours a day. Yeah, seven hours a day, and usually, you know, it's adult and children, right? Between work and school, everybody's just on their screens now. And so part of being on that screen, while it has many benefits, is that we're exposed more to something called blue light, which is a higher energy light um, than we're used to when we're outside or reading a book. Um, and so a lot of the discussion comes around, well, with this new exposure to all this blue light, what are some of the things that we need to worry about? What do we need to look out for? Um, and so. Blue light has um, some benefits, but it also has some um, detriments when you're just on your screens too much, like causing digital eye strain, so your eyes kind of get that tired feeling, the rubbing of the eyes. Um, it can affect your sleep um, and cause sleep disturbances as well. So you know, when we're doing that scrolling uh, at night. Right. Yes. <laughs> but, Everybody uh, does it. I don't care what people say. It's yeah. true. So how much screen time should we be limiting ourselves to? I think that's a tough, you know, that's a tough thing these days because okay. everything's on a screen, right? So the kids are on screens all day at yeah. school. We're on screens all day at work. And so so I think it's more about um, doing it in the most healthy way possible. So keeping your screen 30 inches from your eyes, that's a great starting point. Then there's something called the 20-20-20 rules, which is you know, after 20 minutes of being on your screen, looking away for 20 seconds for at something that's 20 feet away. And that just kind of gives your eyes a break from that, that screen time, that blue light exposure. Um, and then, uh, you know, alternately, uh, 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 like past all of that, is really just getting outside. <laughs> mm -hmm. So yeah. there's something about that outdoor light that is just, it helps to decrease some of the detrimental things that we're ha seeing with nearsightedness and the increasing prevalence of uh, nearsightedness. So, okay, let's talk about nearsightedness yes. a little bit. Um, <laughs> I'm nearsighted. What, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I think it's very common though, and it's becoming more common. Very common, and so somewhere close to 40% of Americans are already nearsighted, and we're thinking by 2050, it's gonna be about 50%. Because of the phone usage and the screens? It's hard what? to say. Yeah. Some of it is, of course, hereditary, and there's not anything you can do about it, but there's a lot of discussion now about, yes, like the screens, maybe less outdoor time. So again, trying to do those things that you can for your eye health, whatever it is that you can do and what you can control, right? Mm -hmm. We can't necessarily control our genetics, but we sometimes can um, control our environmental factors. So, um, and then on top of all of that, you know, just knowing what the signs and symptoms are of nearsightedness so that you get your eye screenings, you seek medical care when you're um, noticing something's off. All right, and, and what are some of the things we can do to take care of our eyes year round? Yeah, uh, you know, like I mentioned, just sort of trying to get those breaks when you're, ha when you, you know, we have to have that screen time, unfortunately, that's the society we live in. So trying to get those breaks, getting some outdoor time, I'm um, doing that 20, 20, 20. I'm um, getting a uh, blue light filter on your um, computer screens is another great idea. Okay. Or, you know, sometimes you can get the glasses with the blue light filter. Um, and the biggest thing is getting your annual exams. And so, and not just a, you know, a, a vision exam, but a real comprehensive eye exam. Really important, I mean, of course, for adults, but definitely for kids. Kids can't tell us sometimes that, you know, I can't see all that well. I <laughs> speak of my own daughter, you know, she, we thought she was reading, she was doing all this great stuff. And then we realized when she got a comprehensive eye exam that she really couldn't see out of one eye because wow. she would have little tricks. She'd turn her eyes, mm -hmm. you know, or she'd rub them a lot and we just didn't realize that those were all signs of her being, having an eye issue. How important is it to make sure that you get your pupils dilated or, you know, do the extra tests when you're at the eye doctor? Yeah, yeah and I think that that's following, it, you know, any recommendations on that, uh, generally for adults, we're talking about um, getting that uh, done yearly um, or, or sometimes you can, you know, extend that out a little bit for children. Um, but it is important to get that comprehensive test. When you're an adult, there's so many medical conditions that actually 
have a symptom related to the eyes. So if you do the comprehensive exam, sometimes you catch actually a medical condition from that eye exam. And so it's very important. So important. And I know you guys at United Healthcare Vision are helping patients, helping people. How can they come see you? How can they, they get that help? Yeah, so so for some of our um, new members, particularly our pediatric members, um, we're making e the easier and like expanding the coverage for those pediatric comprehensive eye exams. Um, I think with regards to eye health, we have discounts on things like, like those exams, but also the blue light fl filters and trying to get those. Um, and, and we partner with um, other organizations in the city to help facilitate those things. And so you can certainly learn more by going to myuhcvision.com and um, there's some more information on the website there. All right, scan the QR code on your screen for more vision, health, and wellness tips from United Healthcare of Illinois. You can also find more information by visiting myuhcvision.com.